Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it is a brand new week and it's time for a brand new deck review. This is my deck of the week. It is an Evil Liberty deck. I do love my Evil decks and I've been playing this one today and it is doing okay. I do like it. So we're going to go and have a look at the deck and as always we will go and test it out in this week's league. Must apologise for those of you that missed out on the special secret code that we revealed yesterday unfortunately somebody leaked it on discord and actually all of the uh, packs went pretty quickly i know a lot of you did get it but a few people did miss out so i do really apologize about that and next time we'll see if we can make it just for the subscribers like it's supposed to be anyhow let's go and have a look at evil liberty by deck of the week <clears throat> excuse me first card up then it is anubis it's a power card three for 20 on the play game plus at 20 permanently not very evil jet card to give me a little bit of power or a lot of power i should say you should know this card 650 limited legendary card on the play your cards adjacent to this game 80 this turn and on the return you lose minus 40 for three turns here is our Evil Liberty, the Statue of Liberty. If your deck is exactly six science cards, which we do, they are all jumbled up for some reason. But we have got six science, we've got six arts and culture, and we have got six life on land. So wherever they are, gain 18 until played and repeat for each album. So every single one of our card is going to get that nice 18 buff from the Statue of Liberty. Jack Frost, our first evil card on the draw, an opponent's random card in hand locks this round. <laughs> very evil jack calypso <coughs> excuse me 5 for 49 epic limited on the draw an opponent's random card in hand locks this turn and on the return an opponent's random card in hand locks next turn very good uh, energy is a little bit low this week so i went with mycoplasm i do like this card 2 for 15 this card the card opposite this lunis minor <laughs> loses minus 50 power and costs minus two energy permanently. Good old Hands Trap. He's back in the deck. I do love Hands Trap. One of my favourite cards. If not probably my most favourite card in the game. I'm not sure. Uh, 7 for 60 on the play. All cards except Festive Traditions in both players' hand lose minus 30 this turn. So you're going to do some cool damage. And on the return, this card gains plus 60 permanently. In the perfect world, you can play Hands and Jack Frost at the same time. But never know. Let's see what happens. Door to Hell, 3 for 40. Epic Limited, great card. On the draw, your cards in hand burn. 50 until played. And you gain plus 50 at this turn. That's nice. The Renaissance. We have got six Arts and Cultures. So it seemed a bit silly not to put this one in. On the draw, your Arts and Culture cards, wherever they are, gain 10 until played. And if your deck has six or fewer Arts and Culture cards, your Arts and Culture cards... Wherever they are, gain 18 until play. That's a really cool buff. We've gone with Hell to give us some energy. I'm sure we're going to lose a couple of rounds. 3 for 31 on the play. If you've lost two rounds this game, your cards in hand gain plus 55 at this turn. Great card. As is the Chrono Photographic Gun. You should all know this one. Really cheap to play. The card opposite it loses 100 this turn. So make sure you try and hit some of those big hitting space cards. And then, no surprise, we've got two cards to try and lock up. Or well, one that we'd prefer to lock up. It's this one, the common spotted couscous. On the start, gain plus four power permanently. And on the play, lose 26 power permanently. That's one that we will try and lock up. Next card, the power of zero. I put this one in. I do quite like it this week. It's working really well. On the draw, your opponent's cards in hand with 50 or more base power lose minus 49 and cost minus one up for two turns very nice yellow jacket this is our backup lock up card so i will play indigo milk cup when i've got yellow jacket and common spotted couscous i prefer to lock up common spotted couscous but it's not the end of the world if you lock up yellow jacket because on the start your opponent's cards in hand lose minus five until play and then on the play your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 24 this turn Cockatrice, a little bit of evilness. On the return, an opponent's random card in hand locks for two turns. Very nice. Do like that card. And there we go, that famous Indigo Milk Cup. A 5 for 40. Having a lot of fun with it this week. On the draw game, plus 25 power until this is returned to your deck. And on the return, if it's on or before round two, turn two, a random card in both players' hand locks permanently. 
and if it's after round two, turn two, a random card in both players' hand locks this round. There is the Indigo Milk Cap. And then we've got General Sherman. There's a lot of big cards around this week, so I put General Sherman in. 7 for 90, even though he's been nerfed, he's still a good card. Uh, on the return, your opponent's cards, wherever they are, with 50 or more base power, lose minus 30 this round. Not bad. And then my last lock card, my last evil card, is Venus Flytrap. Uh, on the draw, an opponent's rounding card in hand locks this turn, and this card gains plus 20 this turn. Very nice. I will give you the deck code very shortly. Do stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, let's go into this week's league. We are Great White Shark. Let's see if we can get another shield. And let's get going. Let's see who we get a game against. We are looking for an opponent. What's going on here? Hmm, don't know. That's a bit, oh, opponent left the game. Oh, well, we will go and find another opponent. Maybe you were lucky or maybe you were unlucky. Well, that was quick. Xavier Champ. Xavier Champ. Nice name. I wonder if you're French. Bonjour. Okay, here we go with my... Oh, look at that. <laughs> no way. Okay, we can actually play in the game Milk Cup on the very first time. I don't think that's ever happened before for me. We come in peace. Oh, I'm really sorry. I do not come in peace. I come with evilness. So let's get Indigo out right at the beginning. That is a real bonus. I don't think that's ever happened before. So hopefully we'll lock up common spotted couscous. But it doesn't matter too much if we lock up Yellow Jacket. And it looks like he's got one of these big hitting paleontology decks. They're pretty good this week. Good luck. Xavier. And oh, that is a nice score to start off with. This is going to be tough. But we are going to lock up one. Hit common spotted couscous. Come on, Indigo. No, we hit Yellow Jacket. Oh, well, well, this is a good video to showcase how to play this deck when you don't lock up common spotted. Doesn't really matter too much. You're going to hold both those cards. Can I only afford to play two cards? Can keep Jet Car. Looks like we might lose this first round. Two, four, one, and his one, six, three. Yeah, we're a long way behind. Nice deck. Paleontology is pretty strong this week, but it can be beaten fairly easily. There's quite a lot of good decks out there this week. I've run into quite a lot of space decks, but I didn't want to do something boring. I wanted a bit of evilness this week. I know I've done a few evil videos, but I do like them. One and I seven with Jet Car. That's a bit of waste. Oh, we're going to be close. Are we going to steal it? Oh, I don't think so. How close was that? You got lucky. Oh, you were lucky. He only played two cards there. His two lowest cards. We almost caught him. Anyhow, we've now locked up two of his cards. One of them is unlocking. So let's go. We do need to be careful. Oh, we've now got three of his cards locked up. I'm just going to say, we do need to be careful that we don't overlock him. That would be a disaster. Jack Frost and Cockatrice. This is looking... Oh, he only played one card. Oh, Jack Frost, don't hit that open card. If it hits that open card, he will get an overlock. Come on, Jack. Oh, I mean Cockatrice. Jack had already locked up. Oh, Venus. No, hit a locked card. Venus, flytrap. Oh, <laughs> he's going to get an overlock. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, no. Well, that is one of the problems, I guess, with this deck. You can be a little bit too aggressive. The card's starting in a perfect order, and now we are in big, big trouble. We could go... Ooh, we could go 2-0 down here. We're not going to get a massive lead. He is going to get that nice overlock. Let's give him a little smiley face. Nicely done. Oh, okay. We got a bit lucky there. We got Door to Hell. Let's play these three science cards. Let's hope we hit something big with our gun. He's only 71 behind. Come on. Micro plus. Oh, that is good. That is good. Oh, I think we're okay. We are going to go one at one. Probably would have been better putting the chrono photographic gun in the middle there. Um, but never mind. We got through that. That it is Paleontology Arena next. One, one. Okay, we have to start all over again now, locking up his cards. He is at a massive advantage. So there is Indigo. 
and we can now play three cars this time with hands trap no jack frost unfortunately so we're only going to knock off 30 off his score because we're going to hit ours for 60 as well but that's not the end of the world and we are going to go with indigo there we go hands trap and renaissance three two three oh that is not too bad we could be a long way behind we're only what, 80 behind not too bad i do like this deck though it can get you out of jail quite quickly okay we're back to beginning we've locked up one of his cards and now we can get a good score jet car general sherman and anubis to give us a few points in the bank I'm not sure if anubis is the best card for this deck but it's been working so i'm leaving her in two and i four and the buff from jet car oh what a big hit we are in big big trouble we could go two one down here and we've only got one of his cards locked up until the end of this round oh no well played it this is abier this is abier is that how you say that name i'm sure it is okay there is cockatrice statue of liberty and calypso We've got two of his cards locked. Let's just go for it. Two, five, eight. We're not going to catch him up. Oh, this is looking pretty grim. This is not looking good for us. Well played, sir. Although our cards are okay in a good order now. Um, we just need to try and lock up a couple of his cards. We've got some good lock cards coming around now. So Jack Frost put... Oh, no way. How unlucky have we been? I was going to say, we could be lucky and lock up three of his cards. But Jack Frost hit the card that was already locked. No mind. Hell's going to help us here. 406. I put Jack Frost in the middle because in case we need him, he will come out right at the very end and lock up one of his cards. Whereas Venus Flychat... Well, actually, either of them would have worked, wouldn't they? Okay, there's those three science cards. Oh, the power of zero doing a good job there. We do need to hit something big now. We are only 82 in front. Let's go. The gun in the first box. Oh, no. Oh, he's got no power. Where's your power gone? That was the power of zero. Wiped out his score. Wow. And we've really ruined his circulation there with our locks. That is looking good. Three, four, seven. We might be all right now. Oh, this is a gamble. I want to hold hands strap. Three, four, seven in front. We've got 86 in the bank. This is a gamble, but it's the only way we can win this game is keeping hands trap. Oh, oh, I think we're okay. We are okay. Just oh, one more buff. No, 302. Wow. Okay, now we are actually possibly going to pull out of a shock win here even with yellow jacket being locked up and him getting an overlock the worst possible things that could happen with this deck there is the deck code by the way m4 v w w r and now we can use indigo hands trap and general sherman we can do some real damage here 449 that's a nice score oh we're going to be a little bit in front i think oh no a little bit behind Okay, Indigo's going to lock up one. We do have Hell coming round. What else have we got? What else is coming? I'm not sure those three science cards are going to come round in time, are they? Are they? Oh, two of them. Jet Car and Statue of Liberty. It's not bad, but we are going to finish with Hell. And probably Jack Frost is going to come, I think. Three, three, oh. Here we go, the moment of truth. This is really close. This is really, really close. It's been an amazing game. Oh, we are 101 in front. We've got 76 in the bank. We're 177. We've only got hell. Calypso locks up one card. He's got three cards. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm not very confident. I am not very confident here. Let's see what happens. This is all we can do. Four, six, two. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the power of the evil liberty. That was close. That was a great game. Well played, Xavier. Great deck. Thank you very much. It is my evil deck of the week. I hope you like it. 
I certainly like it. I'm going to be playing that a lot. So if you see my name pop up and you don't want to play a bit of evilness, then just walk on by. Walk on by. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. We will be back very soon with some more super cool videos. But in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, take care, have fun, and we will see you soon. Bye.